So Elizabeth Alfano is a chef, a radio personality, an advocate for living your truth. And several years ago, she made a huge personal revelation leading up to her 50th birthday and her whole life changed. So she joins us to chat about the new documentary about her journey. Hi, thanks for coming in. Hi, hi, I'm so excited to be here and I'm so happy to be talking about my gray locks. It's a, a very exciting time, I think, for women who wanna take back control and decide that they're gonna go foot forward and just change their life and Full take control. On. Well, this yes. is so, we have such a cool story. And in May of 2017, you posted this video. So we're gonna show viewers a little bit right okay. here. Um, we've got, see you right there, take us yeah. through it. Okay, so uh, like most women who are going gray, they say to themselves, oh my God, should I do it? Is it gonna make me look old? And I struggled with this decision for so long. And finally, I just decided I am tired of being the backseat driver to my yeah. own life. And the more I was trying to hide who I was, the more I was disempowering myself. And I thought, oh, I'm not going through life that way. No I want to empower myself. So I thought, I'm going to get out in front of this, and I'm going to own it. And I'm going to make this really work for me. And I just decided to go full on gray. I bet you've heard from so many people, too, that, that you inspire them. Yes, I think a lot of people were like me, and that a lot of people start to see gray at 25 or 30 or even earlier, like 19. I yeah. started really almost in high school. And you started, like, see. in your 20s, like yes. this picture we have here. Yes, yes. So this, oh, my God, this high school picture. I oh, love the, the shoulder school. pads. You can yeah. see those in there. Uh, yeah, so this is actually, sorry, not high school. That is um, uh, in college after we had all just graduated. But I was already fully gray by college, okay. so after college. So I just had been dyeing my hair for decades at that point. And, you know, the chemicals and, you know, it, when I started dyeing my hair, it was five weeks. Then it was four weeks. And finally, I was down to two and a half weeks. Every two and a half weeks, I was having to be a slave to that whole process and all those chemicals. And I wanted no more of that. My hair was starting to be less healthy. That was something important too and I thought okay I'm just gonna change my outlook about this mm -hmm. and I'm gonna make it work for me so. well you rock it wow, you're way. So sweet. Yeah, what thanks. advice do you have for other women or men that might be dealing with this well so I do really think that you have to own it and so there's no better beauty tool than self-confidence I think we Absolutely. all really know this so once you decide that okay I am gray and I'm not gonna deny that and I'm gonna get out in front I'm gonna make it work for me which probably means changing up your clothes changing up your jewelry changing up maybe not for men but for women changing up your makeup choices once you really sort of wrap your mind around how you're gonna change the whole thing and make it work it's very sexy yeah really and w let's talk about the reaction that you got from that did you get yes. did you expect the reaction that you got was it different between men and women okay it was very different so I expected old men were gonna like it because <laughs> so they're older and they're course. always liking younger women okay and I expected that my silver sisters women going through it would be, give me props like good for you it's a courageous move I didn't expect that young women would love it young women come up to me and they always want to touch it because they're not sure if it's real or if I've done it on purpose you know a lot of people are dyeing their hair this color on purpose yeah and I I don't do anything. I don't do highlights. I don't. This is the gig, people. Yeah. And then a young men came up to me. I've had so many men, like with no makeup on, in the grocery store. Young men in their 20s ask me out on dates. Hey, there you I, go. I, and I didn't take them up on it, but I love them for it. <laughs> so it was super fun. It's very flattering. Yeah. Um, and you're a part of a new movie, Gray is the New Blonde. Tell us about that. Yes, by a fabulous director, Victoria Marie. We're not exactly sure of the premiere date in Los Angeles yet. We think it's about two months from now, but I'm the associate producer of the film and then I'm also featured in the film as one of the women. It's a documentary. I'm one of the women who really decide to take control back in their life, go gray, own it, and really make it sexy. Because yeah. we're a little tired of the double standard. We you know, are. Gray works for men, and people say, because I did have people say, watch out, if you go gray, you'll be sort of giving up. Yeah. Oh, I am proving them wrong. Yeah. I, obviously, I'm not giving up people. So I think that's clear. And that's what the movie's all about. OK, great. And then last question, what message do you have for women kind of going through that same issue? What would you want to tell them? It's a long process, and I'm not going to lie. You know, in the grow out process, when you're half skunk, and you know, I used a wig, as you saw in the video. So it's a tricky process. But just hold tight. In about 18 months, you'll be there, and you'll so see the beauty and shine and health of your hair come back. And that's very beautiful. So stick to your guns and you can really own it and be great. Well, she said it. All right, follow Elizabeth on social media and on her site at elizabethalfano.com.